At its location in the new UN city in Copenhagen, Denmark, the new Climate Technology Centre and Network, CTCN, held its first advisory board meeting on the 14th and 15th of May 2013. The meeting was opened by Chairman Zatuni Uld Dada. Um, so welcome again to, to everyone. Um, this meeting was really uh, much awaited. Technology transfer has been a cornerstone of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, UNFCCC, since it was established over 20 years ago. At COP16, it was agreed to establish a new technology mechanism, consisting of a technology executive committee and a climate technology centre and network. Access to environmentally sound technologies is now a step closer with the new centre. Division Director Sylvie LeMay says, I think we can indeed make a difference. It will take a little bit of energy. It will take flexibility that I'm sure of. And I think we all should be ready for that. But ultimately, it will take a, lo a lot of enthusiasm and commitment to make a difference. And I think this is the obsession that we should have. And you can count on me to have it. CTCN is the operational arm of the UNFCCC technology mechanism and guided by the advisory board. It's hosted by the Danish government and led by UNEP in collaboration with UNIDO and 11 leading technical organisations. The CTCN will receive requests from nationally designated entities, NDEs, and operate in conjunction with an associated network, providing technical assistance and support to developing countries. The CTCN will work to reduce the risks and costs of technology transfer by helping developing countries make better informed decisions about mitigation and adaptation technologies. So I could see a very big role for the CTCN on all the developing countries and on in the most vulnerable countries as well, like African countries, uh, least developed countries, because. They, some of them have already done their uh, TNAs, the technology needs assessment, for adaptation and some of them have done it for mitigation. They have a, a, a long waiting list of technologies to be uh, transferred and many of them are struggling. So they are really in need for help. CTCN um, established for UNEP would be able to identify the most appropriate technology um, for uh, renewable energy. We need to uh, not to have the same development as developing co developed countries had before. So we need to use new technology, uh, uh, clean technologies in many areas, as well as in mitigation and adaptation in the adaptation field. So for us, it is very important to make this uh, uh, CTCN operational before the end of this year. At the first advisory board meeting, the task was primarily to agree on priorities and areas of responsibilities to ensure the CTCN success and hopes were high. We have very high expectations on the Climate Technology Centre and Network and we think that it should uh, play a lead role in actually making the, the, the low carbon and climate resilient technologies and practices widely available to uh, developing uh, countries and developing country partners to the Framework Convention on Climate Change. What I think it's really key is that we provide a very good starting point of this CTCNN. And with this, uh, what I meant is in the last year, the tech is the other piece of the technology mechanism have been working very hard, but now it's time for implementation of action. The challenge for CTCN, I think, is also to look for funds, uh, to have the ready necessary funds to provide for the requests. Though of course, now we are discussing that only few countries so far have signed on to be the nationally designated entity 
that will do the technology transfer. Those who know about the presence of the CTCN are very excited on what awaits us in terms of the actual delivery and transfer of, of climate technologies, in particular directly to communities and local governments, not just through national governments, um, that could uh, make the needed and required technologies available.